What's up traders? This is V Trades and today we'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Neo with the ticker symbol NIO. Uh, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Please stay to trade at your own risk. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So let's begin the video by looking at the daily chart. I looked at this stock last uh, last week Monday and you can see that it did travel a little bit lower. Price was right around the um, low fours, high threes and went all the way down to the mid threes and we saw a bounce up today. But overall, this is still a very bearish chart. So again, you can't be just looking at one green candle and, and get all excited because we had a nice move up here and then price was at the $6 level and now it collapsed back down to the sub $4 level. So still, this is still a bear market. It's been a, been, a, been a bear market since January of 2021. So it's been more than three years that price has been going down and down and down and down, just slowly coming right back to its starting point right over here. Uh, you could technically say this is fair value for NEO because look at the consolidation. A lot of times when you see a bubble and there was a prior consolidation, price will come back down to that consolidation because this is where price likes to hang around at, um, you know, because you see that most of the trading was in right around this price range. And then we had that huge move up higher. And eventually price came right back into this yellow box. So we're back into this area that price likes to stabilize at. But overall, Still bearish short term and long term. Don't really see anything bullish for NEO. We do have earnings report coming out sometime in late May as of right now. So again, just uh, still below the trend line, still below the EMA. It's just slowly grinding lower and lower. Uh, for me to be bullish, it would need to get back above the um, $7 level. Why $7? Because that was a good support level. You can see that price bounced off of here, went all the way up to the $15, $16 level. Came back, bounced off again, wasn't able to go that high, went to the mid nines and then collapsed lower. So we need to get back above that level. And that would be the first sign that it's the trend is reversing. The second sign is breaking this long term downward trend line, which I'll show you guys now in the weekly chart. Here's that long term downward trend line. If we can break that trend line and get it back above the seven all level, something like this, maybe we see higher highs, higher lows. That would be a very good sign. I would think, okay, we're in a complete trend reversal now and we're going to go higher. If we're still within this area right here, this is still bearish territory and traders are going to be looking for shorts. For any any pop-up, they're going to be shorting uh, NEO for more downside because that's where the big money is, right? You're not going to be able to turn around the direction of the stock uh, by buying a few shares or even a few thousand shares. The guys who are moving the market, they're short and other people are piling in with them because they can move the market around. So if they want the market to drop or the price to drop, they're going to drop it and traders are going to be following them. You know, you'll have some counter trend traders trying to pick pick a bottom and it may pay out eventually, but most of the time they're going to get stopped out. Um, they're going to lose their money. So there's a good chance this will continue to trend down lower in the probably rest of this year, I would say. Um, looks like we could probably reach the $1.57 level sometime this summer, June, July. Um, so that's all I have for NEO on the daily weekly charts. Just looking bearish on the micro and, ma ma micro and macro scale.